Good evening everybody and once again welcome to the video. Uh, now in this video I'm actually gonna show you the true power of Apache hoodie. Uh, as you might know you know in all my videos that I've been talking about about Apache hoodie it's truly amazing trust me it is amazing. You can do insert, update, delete, incremental queries, take snapshot, do time travel uh, and much much more right. So let me show you uh, how to implement uh, slowly changing dimension type 2 SCD with Apache hoodie. Um, you know a lot of companies are now uh, adopting uh, lake house architecture right. So basically they have the raw uh, Apache hoodie tables from there they have transformed they have dimensions and fact and basically the end user are running ad hoc query using Athena and building dashboards. That's sort of the architecture most of the company are following or maybe they are using Redshift irrespective. So what we want to show is basically uh, in today's scenario we'll have a simple customer table and a sales table right. Um, customer table would be a dimension uh, and the fact would be a sales or the quantity or something that I want to measure that's a fact right. Now here there are a couple of ways to handle slowly changing dimension. First let me explain what is slowly changing dimension. Again, I'm not a SQL expert, right? Uh, I'm a Python developer and an AWS guy. <laughs> but I, I can explain a little bit theory of what I have read. So basically, assume that the address of the customer is gonna change, right? Now, there is there are ways in which you can handle this on the, basically the one way is you will simply update that particular row, uh, wherever that you know value is, right? That's basically type one slowly changing dimension. In type 2 what you do is basically uh, if you want to know the history right if you want to know okay my previous address was this my new address is this what you do is you insert a new item okay and then you mark the previous item or the previous address as inactive. So basically sort of developing like a version right. So let's see a demo hopefully this will make sense okay so I'm gonna share my screen um, and a special thanks to David and this article uh, again. Um, this article was probably for the EMR. Um, I had to mimic for using glue. <laughs> but uh, let's get started with the demo. The entire Jupyter Notebook will be available on the GitHub section. Uh, please feel free to download and try this out. I have covered how to essentially get the connector, uh, the glue connector, Apache hoodie connector. You can go to marketplace and essentially enable uh, the hoodie connector. I have made videos. I'm not going to cover that in this part. So now what I'm going to do is basically um, here um, I'm going to start running again just to show you I have no data in the S3 or the data lake right. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, run uh, my this cell. Uh, this cell is essentially going to you know uh, do all the imports. I'm essentially importing PySpark uh, you know glue etc etc. So I'm going to quickly run this. Uh, hopefully uh, should be done in a second or two. Uh, usually that doesn't take that long. I'm not sure why that is taking that long. <laughs> idly it is pretty fast. I mean it's just an import. So uh, maybe the kernel is idle for a while and hence I guess. Uh, you know what I want to do. Uh, let me do this. I'm going to just restart everything. So I'm going to stop the session and I'll uh, redo this. Okay. So that looks good. I'll define my imports. Okay. And then here the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a spark session uh, here and this is the settings that I'm using here okay. Um, so I think it is waiting for a session. Um, I'm using three workers here. Uh, here you can see these are the settings right. So just waiting for uh, the session to be created and once that is created then I can quickly run and show you um, things in action right. Uh, Again, Hodi is truly, truly amazing. Uh, you know what you can build with this. Uh, it's uh, really amazing. Um, so that's taking a quite a long time. Uh, ideally, that doesn't take that long. Uh, let me see. Yeah, it's still waiting. Okay, finally I got it done. Okay, so the session is created. Now the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna create a spark session that's done. Now here we are um, faking a data right. I'll show you what it looks like uh, in a second. So let me run this cell. Again creating a data frame object here. Uh, I'm using PySpark and that is what people usually we don't use pandas uh, you know for big uh, data set we use PySpark right. Uh, so now I'm gonna run that might take a second or two. 
again this is all it's gonna do is it's gonna create a data frame object and i'll zoom in as much as i can here i think that's the best i can zoom so i have a customer id one and two i have two customer john and susan right uh, and here um, i have is current test two because these are the current customers right and then here is a customer dimension key this is a unique identifier or a primary key how you want to consider it okay now here i'm gonna write this into a hoodie table uh, hopefully you guys can see this is basically uh, over here uh, as you can see i'm using a glue connector right and i'm essentially writing it into, into um, uh, my data like uh, into an apache hoodie tables okay so here this cell is running and uh, i want to show you one thing once this cell is complete so again simple right uh, you have a, a dimension a customer dimension uh, where you can find the name of the customer the city the state etc uh, etc et and these are active is current is true okay so hmm, i should increase the number of workers i am only using three but uh, i uh, i'll, uh, I'll uh, definitely increase it uh, moving forward i'm using copy on right and i have made a video on cow and more what they are so um, basically you know um, in in a nutshell i'll explain in copy of write uh, co sorry in cow basically when you write data the merge so any updates uh, or uh, you know uh, append operation or return into a delta log file and then they uh, are merged and create a new data file so again you can watch that videos i don't want to cover that right now all those concepts but again i have written the data so if you observe here in the glue database if i refresh the table i should see customer table again this is um uh, yeah, yeah, you know um, the so if i come to the data like here and if i refresh uh, this should be my apache hori table uh, here you can see customer table my parquet file and this is my metadata the hori maintains some metadata so coming back now i have a fact table again just uh, showing you so I'm just going to run this cell. So here I have an item ID, quantity, price, and, and a timestamp and a customer ID, right? So here, these are the things that I can measure on price, quantity, you know, who are the customers, then I can join with the customer dimension and then see, okay, who are the customers who did A, B, C, right? Uh, so I'm going to quickly run this cell. And, and now I am going to, uh, you want to call it sales, whatever you want to call, I'm going to write this into uh, data lake or uh, into an apache hoodie format right so um, should be done in a second or two so observe what hoodie does right so hoodie will create uh, these tables in the uh, in the so if you go to glue in the database and the tables you will see these tables coming in um, and then also hoodie what it does is basically uh, if i go to s3 again uh, it will essentially here i have the sales table it has your here is your data file there's a parquet uh, columnar file right uh, here is a metadata how do you maintains all that behind the scenes for you you don't have to worry about that so um yeah so i guess uh i have written that um so so that's the fact table right now again we can join uh the dimension and a fact table uh, again i'm just showing you on the console uh, again here you can see uh, these three items i had it and now you can see the customer di dimension right now here is the use case right so the use case is basically um, assume that you know susan we had susan before right uh, susan was in seattle before in our data lake right so here you can see uh, she was in seattle i can uh, definitely query my data uh, data lake or my apache hori using uh, standard sql queries i can run ad hoc queries on my data lake yeah, using athena right so here i should be uh, seeing uh, i'm assuming susan uh, yeah here is susan and she's in seattle and that's in my data lake so now my address has changed, right? So now one uh, naive way is simply updating um, wherever you see Susan and updating that record. That's type one slowly changing. In type two slowly changing, what you do is basically uh, we'll essentially insert Susan, right? And then the older one will mark that as false and this one as true. So basically uh, this acts as a version, right? So the way you do that, um, again, uh, quickly uh, we'll show you. So that's my dimension customer dimension that's the fact dimension uh, i showed you that um, joining this we showed you that and now here is the use case right so uh, what we and again i have explained i added some explanation here right so here you can see we have susan and you know this new guy um, Pastin, right so susan address has changed from seattle to paris right now we need to again add there on the data like so uh, observe over here so what we do is basically uh, 
we take the old data frame and we take the new customer data frame we join that on the customer id and if i had to show you how it looks like so what we essentially did is basically first we need to uh, identify susan in the data lake so here you can see this is the older record uh, um, right and what we did is observe here is current as false so we essentially mark susan as false because now this uh, susan doesn't live in seattle she her, her address has changed right so the way again very simple we have uh, two data frame right the old data frame and the new data frame we join on the customer id right um, so here you can see we did a join um, and basically and then we are selecting certain columns and then wherever the condition matched uh, for that we identify the record in the data lake we mark that as a false now it is pretty straightforward right now what we're going to do is um, here so let's see this so this is basically um, you know we are creating a union right so basically here you can see uh, here is the Paris one that's the new one and here you can see is current as true and the old one we mark that as false so that is basically you know type 2 slowly changing uh, SAD right basically we did that and now what we can do again this is where hoodie comes handy right now again I'm performing an absurd operation on the data lake so if I do that I print this again the code the code files are there don't worry about the code files let's see things in action let's see a demo let's see this visually okay um so this one is false so observe this is the older address for susan right so that is marked as false now and here is the newer address for susan which is marked as um, true here as you can see right and these are my records which were there before john was before and this is the new guy who uh, essentially uh, came in right so yeah that's that's basically the demo uh, for the video uh, so essentially implementing type 2 uh, you know slowly changing dimensions uh, with apache hoodie uh, again i essentially have copy pasted the code from this blog post uh, here um, this blog post, um, you know, primarily were, was showing using EMR. Uh, and if you observe in this blog post, uh, when they were writing into the Apache hoodie, uh, this wouldn't work because I'm using a custom glue connector and hence I had to change the code and tweak this a little bit to uh, make it work, right? But hopefully um, the concept and the idea made sense, right? And if you have any more questions, uh, you may list your questions in the comment section below. But again, a very great um, article uh, which you know talks about Apache hoodie uh, shows how to implement um, again shows how to implement uh, you know slowly changing dimensions again. So this uh, really shows you the power of Apache hoodie and what you can build with it, right? Uh, you can, as I said, right? The true power of hoodie comes with uh, you know performing all these insert, update, deletes, uh, you know, implementing all these concepts, right? So you can now implement your entire lake house on S3. Uh, that way, uh, you know, it's pretty cheap because S3, you, the, the, the storage cost is pretty cheap, right? Uh, you have um, high availability, 99.119 um, availability. Uh, you can later on archive this data. You can set up lifecycle policies on S3 bucket, right? And uh, so on, right? So thank you so much for watching the video. Uh, I'll leave the entire Jupyter notebook in the, uh, sorry, glue uh, notebook in the description. So if needed, you can check that out. And if you have any more questions, list your question in the comments and uh, I'll try my best to answer them. Uh, once again, thank you so much for watching. Uh, and again, Apache Hood is truly, truly amazing and what you can build with this. Uh, I'm going to create more and more contents and hopefully this will benefit everybody on the internet. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.